Center. We're on number three road. There's been a severe accident. We need assistance. Officer! Officer! <laughs> there, there's an injured man, and his, and his leg's stuck, and the car got warped, and it flipped over. Call a rescue team to cut away the car and free the man. I'm Dr. Chung Jin from Shiwa Hospital. Trust me, hurry, there's not much time. Okay. Uh, command center. There's a man here trapped in an overturned vehicle. He needs help. We need a rescue team. Hey, sis. Yeah, it's me. I'm okay. Where are you? We were in a car accident. Half a dozen of us are injured. Yeah, it's bad. Oh, don't worry. I'm okay. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. What is it, Director? What's going on? The emergency center called. They said that there's been a chain collision nearby that needs our help. We should expect a lot of patients. I already called Mr. Chu and the chief on duty. All doctors and staff are getting ready. The ER will be the first stop for the victims. We must do our best. Mm. Director Ma. Call the doctors at home. Have them report in as soon as possible. Yes, right away. Wang Bo, hmm? take two nurses and have the trauma equipment prepared. I'm on it, Director. Chen Jin. Where's Chen Jin? Hey, first day of internship and we get a chain Chen commission. Jin. It's crazy, right? Where are you? Get over here now. What's that? You're already at the scene. What are you doing there? What? I see. Okay, don't explain. It's fine. Just tend to the injured. I'll send help right away. Okay. Right. Got it. Chang Jin is at the scene. Attending to the injured from the crash as we speak. Ouyang, I need you over there. Right. I'll head over there right now. Dr. Ouyang! I'll go there with you. Just stay right here. Normal saline. I mean, drip right away. Here, I'll do it. I'm a doctor from Jiwa Hospital. Hang in there. You'll be fine. Higher. Do you have supports in your van? They're all fixed. Can't take them down. No supports, huh? Okay, give it to me. Go and see if anyone else needs help over there. And notify the fire department. All right. Go! Get him out of here until the rescue team arrives. Okay, don't worry about this one. See if anyone else needs any help. Okay, be careful, all right? Yeah. You too! I will! Excuse me. Excuse me, move aside, please. What happened to him? Oh, well, you see, 
His neck got caught in the kite string. All right. Everybody lift him and bring him to my car. All right, all right, let's go about. Go about. Come on, come on. Gently. This way. Easy, easy. easy. Get out of the way. Careful. Oh, Careful. Oh, Here we go. Here we go. Help too. What happened? He was cut by a kite string. He has lacerations on his neck and chest trauma. Neck lacerations and chest trauma. Debride him. Got it. Did you hear that? Clothes lined by a kite. What are the odds? Don't get too excited. It makes me sick. Don't be a jerk. I'm not. This is a learning opportunity. Yeah, let's go see. What? <sighs> not too close, please. He's going into shock. Prepare a transfusion. Careful. Open an IV channel. Saline 500 milliliters. Contact General. We need to put him on life support. The wounds are deep. Hey, help hold him down. What are you gaping at? Hold him down. Okay. <laughs> Hello, radiology. We're on our second debriding. I need a chest x-ray right now. Send someone Open now. a second IV channel now. <laughs> Hey, wake up, wake up, wake up. Don't fall asleep, you can't fall asleep. Hang in there, okay? I really feel cold. I know, I know. Just hold on. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Hey, come on. Keep talking to me. So, what's your name? How old are you? What do you do for a living? Huh? Bong Sin, I'm a salesman. Try to stay calm, help us on the way. I'm still here at the scene and they're taking all the injured to the hospital. Easy. Yeah, we're all okay over here. Go, go, go. Come on, be secure. Good. Go. Just hang in there. You're next. So you're a salesman, huh? I'm a salesman. So you're 36. Probably married, right? Do you have any kids? I'm sure they're worried. Yeah, I'm married. My wife is really beautiful. We have an eight-year-old son. His birthday's next week. I promised my son uh -huh. that I'd be home for his birthday. You have to save me, doctor. Mm -hmm. I want to be home for him, you know. I want to see my son again. Don't worry, okay? I promise you will be there for your son's birthday. Got it? Don't leave me. I won't. Please don't Just leave. hold on. The fire department's gonna be here soon. <sighs> hey! Hey, over here! Hey! Here's the guy who needs your help! Come on, hurry! Get over here! We're gonna lose him! Here, take a look. Right here. His other leg's stuck. The car's warped over it. 
What happened to her? She's eight months pregnant. Her water broke and she's in deep comatose. Call obstetrics right away. And her family, too. I already have, sir. Good. Please say these are Can I close this a lot, please? Okay. Calling Dr. Chang to the ER. Dr. Chang to the ER, please. Uh, director? Director Zhang, where's the pregnant woman? Over here. How is it? It's just fine. Okay, I'll leave her to you. Let's go. Why are you here? Who called for the x-ray? Dr. Ouyang, sir. Okay, I'll go with you. How's the patient? The wounds are too deep. We can't see all the damage. We have to operate. X-ray. X-ray, everybody out now. He can't wait. We have to take it now. Come on. Wait, uh, Director. We aren't wearing protective vests, sir. According to protocol, we have to wear lead vests. Get out. <laughs> take the x-ray. That's right. We're at the hospital now. Well, yes, all six of us are in the ER. Except me, I'm fine. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Zhao Chong, you were such a wuss back there. Protective vests, you're even worse than Meng. Don't compare me to him. It's embarrassing. It's radiation, and radiation can kill you. <laughs> Director Zhang! Wang Bo! That guy has metal falling off of him. Xiao Xiao, over here, help me! Oh. Hey! Where is he? Where's Wang Bo? He's in surgery. And Dr. Uyang? You have two. Then who's in the ER? You. All right, then. Hurry, guys. Okay. Take him to the ER. He needs help Come now. On. Come on, keep moving. A little further. All right. Lay him there. Gently now. Gently. Don't drop him. Be careful. Easy, easy. Don't drop him, I said. Every machine is calibrated and ready. Over here. Oh no. Okay. This is this bad. side, right? It went here. Give me a glow. Sure, John. Take a look. You're covered in blood. What's going on here? I think he fainted, sir. From the blood? Isn't he a med student? He is, right? I thought he was. Xiao Chong! Xiao Chong! Xiao Chong! Give him two milligrams of XNJ. Hey, give him a hand. Take him out. Uh, Don't uh, drop him now. One, two, uh, three. Uh, that boy's just trouble. Hmm. How long do we have to wait to scrub in? Not so long, just wait. Well, don't just stand there, scrub in and let's go. You heard him, Doctor.
Cardioid artery successfully recovered. Wounds on chest have been sutured. How's the blood recovery? 5,000 milliliters. 5,000 milliliters and a rare blood type too. If we use a donor, we'll put him at risk. We've got life support and we'll save him using his own blood, no less. The patient spends less and it's much safer. Let's inform the other departments. Okay, we can relax. We know the patient is safe now. Looks like fetal hypoxia. Child appears cyanotic. You need spot him right away. Take him to an incubator as soon as you can. Mm. Premature babies haven't finished developing, so their tolerance is weak. He needs special care. The incubator's set for him, and it's set for his specific physiological needs. This will help him develop normally. You can relax, knowing we're doing everything to make sure he's okay. Thank you, doctor. blood blanks store some blood from this. Okay, okay, all right. Easy. Okay, okay, this is the last piece. Good. Prepare to suture the patient. Yes, doctor. You can be on your way. The nurses and I can take it from here. Right. See how he's doing after the suture. Any problems arise? Take him to surgery. Yes, sir. He's awake. Chow Chong? How is he? I thought he was awake a second ago. Really? Can't you see? He's clearly comatose. There's nothing we can do. Now then, hook him up and give him 10 ml of XNJ. 10 milliliters? Dr. Chung, that's going to... Dr. Cheng, I have XNJ 10 milliliters prep for you, ready to inject. Huh. I'm fine. No need for that. I fainted from seeing that blood. Oh. The last time, I think it was years ago. I guess I must have seen too much blood today, and that's why I fainted. Are you done? That was quite a show back there. Now listen Dr. here, Chen, Chong. a cake just arrived, and they asked for you. Did you order it? Yes, I did. I'll be right there. Get changed. You can wait here. Jerk! It was just a joke, guys. Are you Dr. Cheng, yes. sir? Hey. The delivery was supposed to be tonight. Why'd you bring it now? We're, we're so busy, I can't be bothered with this, and where will I put this thing? Uh, well, we came a long way, sir. Fine, fine, I hear you. I guess it's my burden now, huh? <laughs> now that there's a huge cake, must be pricey. Shut up. When did you buy it? Hey, don't say anything about it, and we absolutely cannot let the director find out, understood? You saw the accident while getting the cake, didn't you? Hey. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I bought you that cake right there. Uh, why on earth would you do that? Well, aren't you my girlfriend? I can't buy my girlfriend a cake on her birthday? I didn't know I was your girlfriend. Well, then, I guess I was the only one who knew that. So, um, I've liked you for about two years now. So I 
booked a room just over at the West Chamber. So when we finish tonight, we'll have some of your cake here to celebrate. Then you and I will go, go have dinner together. And we'll finally have some quality time alone to talk. And we can take time to talk about our relationship. What do you think, huh? Chen Chen, are you all right? The West Chamber? How about Peony Pavilion? <laughs> I'll tell you straight. No thanks. And don't you ever do this again, got it? Chen Chen, are you all right? West Chamber? How about Peony Pavilion? Well, you seem happy. What's the deal? After all, this was your crappy plan. Well, you listen to my crappy plan, so don't blame me. Uh, Dr. Chung, the cake has been delivered. You yes, yes, I know. Do I sign here? That's right. Cho Chung. Cho Chung. Hey, could you just give me a sec? Cho Chung. Cho Chung. Get back here. That's enough running. Come back. Just where were you going, huh? Away from you. <sighs> Come on, let's talk. This way, hurry up. Hi there, do you feel better? Mm, yes, yeah, she's feeling much lie better. Down. She can drink milk now. Thank you. No, really, I'm fine. I think, I think she's doing a lot soap. better now. I need to know how you really feel about the ER. Well, sir, cause I- You get some more rest. Of course, doctor. Hey there, fourth brother, it's me. Well, we were just in an accident. Six people in our van. I was the only one not hurt. Yeah, I'm just making sure they're settled in. Look, I'm the guy's out. so weird. He's yeah. been on the phone since we got I'm here. Fine. From his I'm eldest fine. sister to fourth sister, now fourth brother. How many kids are in his family? <coughs> Maybe he's flustered from the accident. In front of all those people, you fake a faint? Why would you risk getting in trouble so you could leave? I really don't get how your mind works in this. Don't you care at all? Well, I never thought you'd find out that I faked it, sir. I guess I was wrong. This is a hospital. Doctors, nurses, you can't trick professionals. Right. And you, a fresh grad, you want to trick me? Well, I had no other choice at the time because I felt I was tired. I was dizzy. My knees were shaking, my hands were numb, and you know, sir, sometimes these feelings- Then why not just walk away? What was all that about? If I did, I brought that patient in. I didn't know if he would survive. I didn't want to leave him. You said once before that you wanted to quit now, am I right? So what does this one patient matter to you? Why do you care, huh? That's not it, sir. So what's the plan? Fake a faint here every single day? Dr. Cha, I know I've told you before. I'm not the worst in class. I don't know my theory. And I'm always causing trouble. No one wants an intern like me. I'm doing this for you. All I can suggest is that you let me go. Let me take my leave. Then once my internship is over, just pass me. And once we're done, I'm out of your hair. I'll say something nice, then I'll leave. And that's all, Dr. Cha. I'll tell everyone you were the best doctor to teach me in the ER. It won't affect your work or my graduation. Wouldn't that be best on your end and mine? Well, you see, it's not. All I really wanted to understand. So you don't want to be a doctor. So why did you go to medical school and think an internship of all things, huh? Well, you see, that's a... That's a long story, right? <laughs> <laughs> fine. Actually, I've got some free time. So go. It's fine. Take off. <clears throat> doctor! Doctor! I don't feel well. Uh, I'm not a doctor. I'm an intern. I can't... I can't breathe. Hey, sir. Are you all right? I... Uh, doctor! The driver, he fainted! Hurry, come Dr. Help me. Chung! Log. Deceased is male, age and profession unknown. Time of death, September 15 at 5.55 p.m. Cause of death, internal bleeding resulting from car accident. Thank you, Lewis. We'll remote. Right away. How did this happen, huh? We saved all the ones lying down and lost a perfectly healthy one. He was in here on the phone and even helped move patients. He'd been here for four hours and nobody asked him how he felt. What's the matter with you? We could have saved him. I can't believe it. 
this was carelessness. The blood oxygen at bed three is still really... Doctor. Why are you both still here? And why is the cake still here? Uh, Dr. Chung left us and he didn't sign for the cake. Well, you can't leave the cake here. Hey. What is this? What's going on? Whose cake is this? Uh, this is from Dr. Chung to his girlfriend. Young, what's this? Are you dating him? No, I'm not. You're not? Then... What's exactly going on? I don't know. Why don't you ask him? Cheng Jin. Director? Tell me, are you both in a relationship? Uh... Answer me straight, boy. Did you think you'd have a party here, huh? She doesn't even want to call you her boyfriend. You want to impress a girl, so you bring a cake to the ER? Get serious. Go. Get out of my sight. Oh, Yang. Director Zhang. He was... I... He... I... Uh... Uh, hey. Wait, doctor! No, no, I'll sign. What a mess. Oh Yang! Oh Yang! Chang what are you doing? When did I agree to be your girlfriend? Well, I agreed. Isn't that enough? You're really something, you know that. Joking around is one thing, but you believed it. Getting told off in front of all those people. Do you think that's funny? I'm really sorry, Oh Yang. I didn't think this whole thing through. Cheng Zhen, let's get this straight, all right? We're colleagues, and we're friends, but we can never be a couple. Why can't we be a couple? I'm unmarried, and and so are you. Why shouldn't we be together? I just don't. It's because I like someone else. You're kidding, right? I've had my eye on you for two years. The ER are so busy, you don't have time to see other men. But I know your personality. And other than our team, you don't talk to anyone. How can you possibly find another man that you can be interested in other than me, huh? In our office, it's only me and Wang Bo. Don't tell me that you like. It's Wang Bo, right? So after waiting two years, the only thing you can conclude is that I can't find anyone other than you? Otherwise, it's Wang Bo, right? How dare you? I can't believe how pathetic you are. Well, you know what they say, right? I guess opposites do attract. And after everything you put me through today, I wouldn't agree to be with you at all, Cheng Jin. Even if you were the last man on Earth. What was that about? You don't believe she'd like me, right? Well, I don't see why not. And all because you think I'm a nobody and you're some special snowflake. Hey, just look at yourself. Look where that got you. What lesson have you learned from all this, Cheng Jun? What goes around comes back around. You were careless and yeah, I... Yeah, I get it, all right? So how are things going over there? Head nurse Lin's taking care of it. That guy was so weird, you know? He was in the lobby all the time. Why didn't he ask anyone for help? I didn't think about it either. I saw him a bunch of times just talking on the phone. Who knew he had internal bleeding? <sighs> so what? Are you suffering as well? Just remember that Oh Yang is different from us. She'll leave ER eventually. She's Mr. Chu's postgrad student. She's good, and she can handle a lot. So yeah, don't aim so high. Yes? Hello, Dr. Chung. Good evening. This is West Chamber Restaurant. Your 6 o'clock reservation has expired. Would you like to extend it? What? It's past 6 already. Hmm? Is it past 6 hmm? o'clock already? We have to cancel your reservation. All right. That's fine. Go ahead and cancel it. Thank you, sir. Thanks.
So West Chamber, huh? You really listened to all my crappy ideas, didn't you? Well, it's better than nothing. <laughs> Stop crying already? If you continue to cry, I'll want to cry with you. I just feel awful. If I just took the time to check that guy, we would have had a chance. We would have been able to save his life. Don't you get it? Yes, but this wasn't our fault. We're still learning after all. And the ER was so busy today because of all the people. Thirteen injured and all heavily. It's not normal for someone's first day out here. Xiao Chong, say something. What's wrong with you? Usually you don't shut up. We can't stay in ER. This place is crazy. Even for a novel. Mong, you should think of another plan. If you stay here, you'll be crying every day. By the time you're 30, you're gonna run out of tears. You're so inconsolable, you'll dry yourself out. <laughs> That's what I think, too. I don't want to stay here anymore. What's the matter with you two, huh? If you leave, what about me? Shoshan, has she ever meant anything she said while crying? No, I really mean it this time. I really don't want to stay here anymore. If you want to leave, then leave. I won't stop you. <laughs> but we're med students. We still have to intern anyway. No, I can't go. Don't force me to stay if I do. But I can switch departments next semester. Hey, what are you kids doing here? Aren't you hungry? That was scary, wasn't it? Don't you worry. You'll get used to it soon, huh? So relax. Get some food. Thank you, Head Nurse Lin. Yes, thank you, Nurse Lin. See you soon. What did she mean by what she said, guys? That we'll get used to it in time or something? <laughs> so what she means is that I have to see the suffering every day of my life here? Probably. <laughs> Hey, Yu Meng, will you stop crying? It hurts me too. I can't leave you alone to suffer like this. Xiao Chong, hmm? buy us both dinner. Huh? All right, all right, I'll buy you both dinner. But you can't cry. What will people think if they see me with crying girls? They might think I broke your hearts or something. I wish I had that skill, though. Xiao Chong, you oh, Why can't I be the one that she likes? Well, why can't it be me, huh? What do you have that I don't? What do... Auntie! Auntie, it's... It's... It's great to see you. Ah, uh, and you're... Hello, Auntie. I'm Chang Jun. Oh, oh, and this is Wang Bo. We work with Dr. Ouyang. Call her Auntie. It's Ouyang's mom. Oh, hi, Auntie. Uh, hello. Uh, sit down, sit down. <laughs> Auntie, Ouyang never mentioned me to you before? I've seen your photo. It's on her phone all the time. You look even younger in person. Uh, oh, pardon my asking. You're here for her birthday, right? That's right. It's her birthday. Uh, where is she? Oh, well, she just... She was just here, right? Yeah. Uh, how about I help you find oh, her? Oh, that's okay. I tried to call her, but her line's been busy. When she does get back here, tell her her father and I are waiting. We booked a table at West Chamber. When she shows up, just send her over to us. Sure. And when I see her, I'll let her know. Don't you worry. How about you take a seat first? Right now, there's lots of people. I'm sure you don't want to keep Uncle waiting All long. right. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, young. Looks like you're back. Mom? Auntie here's been waiting. She says your phone's busy. Uncle's at the restaurant. They've got a reservation. And they're waiting. Exactly. We're here for your birthday, my dear. You're always so busy these days. We haven't celebrated together in years. Here, I bought you some essential oil. It's great for your skin. I thought you'd like it. Look at you. You work so much, and your complexion shows it. Mom, I'm on a 24-hour shift until tomorrow morning. I can't make it. But, uh... Why did you take the night off, then? After all, she came all the way here to get you. We can hold down the fort while you're gone. I'm sure Wang Bo here won't leave me. Uh, uh -huh. What on earth is wrong with you? Is it my birthday or yours? Haven't you caused enough trouble for one day? <laughs> uh, I guess I made you mad again. Fine. I'll just leave you alone. But Auntie's already here, and she came all this way, just so she can fetch you, right? Right. Call me if you need me. Okay. Let's go, Mom. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Have a good night. 
essential oil, huh? Hey, don't you get too excited. You might pass out. Don't rain on my parade. What? Not hungry? Are you guys grieving for what could have been? Oh, I know. Maybe this reminds you of some memorable moment in your lives, huh? you know? Had it before? Hey, hey, calm down. It's all right. Good evening, ma'am. For how many? Thank you. We have a reservation. Hey, girls, look who just came in. Her again? Everywhere I go, I run into her. That woman must be Ouyang's mother, right? She's so elegant. They look so much alike. They're beautiful. Who cares about looks? When you've got a temper like that, I can't stand that woman. Well, I think you're jealous. Dinner doesn't count, got it? Buy his lunch tomorrow. Hey, no, no, no. Come on, let's see. Go on, dig in. Dig in. <laughs> Dad. And who's this? Allow me to introduce you. This is Jin Ke. He's in finance. He just got back from the U.S. And you know, he's a stock analyst on Wall Street. We were going to talk business, so I brought him along. But I wanted to wish you a happy birthday first. Jin Ke, this is my daughter. Her name is Ouyang. Oh, Miss Ouyang, nice to meet you. Hi. What's all this about? It was your dad's idea. I knew nothing. <sighs> she has to get back soon. Let's go upstairs and eat now, shall we? Of course. Uh, good. After you. Come on. Hey, you know what that was? An arrangement. I'm sure about it. They're matchmaking Ouyang. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. Yeah. Matchmaking. That's why they're here. Give me five. <laughs> <laughs> Every year for Lulu's birthday, we never have a chance to be with her. This year, we can finally sit down together. <laughs> I'm so glad we could. <laughs> Mom, Dad, it's not such a big deal. I have to go back to work soon. Oh, then let's start. We don't have much time. Mm. Uh, right, yes. let's eat. <laughs> it's almost impossible to get together and have a meal with her. Mr. Jin, thank you so much for coming tonight. We really do appreciate having your company. Ouyang's perfect in every way, except her work rules her life. Oh, don't say that. Uh, so may I ask, what department are you in? B.E.R. B.E.R. I understand. That's why you're so busy. B.E.R. is tough. Mm, I survive. Uh, actually, have you thought of going to the U.S.? The facilities and equipment there are much better than they are here. So then, if ever you would like to go and work over there, I can help you out. <laughs> it's fine, I've got this. My apologies. We just met. I shouldn't be talking like that. It's my mistake, and I'm really sorry. Here's a toast. For your birthday. To her birthday. <laughs> What do you think? The food is good. Of course. Have some more. Hello? What happened? I'm on my way now. Mom, Dad, duty calls. I have to leave right away. Uh, Lulu, why are you running off? We haven't cut the cake or lit the candles or made a birthday wish. Ah, uh, thanks for the candles and the cake and the wish, but I really have to go. It's an emergency. Mr. Jin, it was nice to meet you. Uh, wait! What will we do with that girl? Oh, Jin, I'm so sorry. Well then, let's continue our meal, shall we? Of course. Have a seat, please. <sighs> Actually, this so young has left me with a very good impression of her. Confident, responsible. I like that in a woman. So what you mean to say is, you like her? That's right. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> What's going on? The patient from the crash site? I'm on my way. She talked about our patient earlier. We should go back. <laughs> we want to check, please. Huh? Hey. Uh, Your total bill comes to 195. How will you be paying? Hold on. You didn't say you were going back tonight. Stop wasting time and pay the bill already. Let's just go. He doesn't want to.